calling him Cherry Garcia, you know the famous um, Ben and Jerry's flavor. If you go on his Instagram at um, Danny Swift Garcia, there's nothing but cherries all over every single one of his photos. One of his female friends, I don't know, I don't know if it's his girlfriend or, or if it's his sister, whoever it is, she's snapping on fans because fans are clearly upset. You know why? The main reason why they're upset is because you got another 140 pound champion in Lamont Peterson, the IBF champion, on the same card as the recognized champion, WBC, um, what else you got, you got the WBC, the ring, and the uh, WBA, and he's not fighting, they're not unifying the titles. Now, here is the gist of things, Danny Garcia has been under a lot of hate, a lot of scrutiny because he is fighting Rod Salka. Danny Garcia has clearly said, even on the weigh-in today, weighing 141 point, uh, 141 and three quarter pounds, the catch weight is at 120, uh, 142 pounds. The titles are not on the line. This is the 140 pound champion of the world fighting Rod Salka. Okay, 19 and three with three KOs. I forgot how much Rod Salka weighed, but Rod Salka has pretty much made his name in a 135 pound division. Rod Salka has fought at 140 pounds and above 140 pounds before. I believe the highest he was was uh, 143. But majority of his fights have been at junior welterweight, 140 pound uh, limit. So, you know, moving on, Rod Soka, you can't be mad at Rod Soka. Rod Soka, win or lose, Rod Soka's just gained a whole bunch of fans and probably gained him another appearance on uh, Showtime. People are saying Danny Garcia has got to knock this guy out and he's got to send him back to Showbox where he belongs. I didn't say it, that's what the fans are saying. And now me, I'm rooting for Danny Garcia because for one, I'm from Philly, but but the thing is, I gotta look at what I see right there on paper. He should have lost to Mauricio Herrera, or Mauricio Herrera, period. We know the storyline behind that. He was in Puerto Rico, Puerto Rican, Showtime City down there, you know, and his manager's like, okay, start building up your Puerto Rican fan base, okay? You know, but the word on the curb is that he's not universally accepted. Now, I don't got nothing to do with that. I'm not Puerto Rican. But what I'm going to say is this. People are saying, I'm boycotting. I'm not watching that crap. Everybody's going to be in the house on Saturday night, you know. Right now, it is um, August 8th, 2014. It is 2.32 Eastern Standard Time p.m. I finally got, I got business class now. My Comcast package was just hooked up a half an hour before the wagon. But moving on, if you don't know, I'm T-Street Controversy. I call the show T-Street Controversy Live, and I talk about boxing. I cover boxing every single major fight live. I cover, I am not taking any days off. I cover international fights, whether whether it's, I, I don't even want to throw out names, but just go, go over to Into the Arena. Go over to Into the Arena US, my previous employer. My reputation is there. Now with this fresh start, this grand establishment, I do nothing but watch boxing all day long. I communicate, I network with boxers. You know, I talk to people who's in gyms, you know, I get, you know, insider information, such and such and such and such. But if you worked as hard as I've worked over the last few years, then, you know, I deserve to be here. But moving on, Danny Garcia and Lamont Peterson had the same manager, they're under the same somewhat promotional company. You know, I believe Danny Garcia does have a, a, a contract with our Golden Boy, but they have the same manager, so if they want to fight each other, they got to go like, yo, like, come on, Lamont, yo, I'm going to fuck you up. Yo, let's go to Al. Al, we both want to fight each other. Al, like, whoa, hey, hey, guys, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute, because I need both of y'all. You know, like, they're assets. They're assets to a business. But at this point in time, fans are turning their backs on Danny. And when something like this happens, okay, yeah, you got a manager, you know, but you got to clean this shit up. So now you're in a situation where your next fight has got to be either Mauricio Herrera, Lamont Peterson, Adrian Broner, you know, Lucas Martin Matisse rematch, you know, um, who else? I forgot. Uh, uh, Postal. Um, you know, and that's just the name. That's just the name. That's what fans want because fans feel like he's there. They're old something. Now, if Danny Garcia feels like he owes the fans off, he does it still. His next fight has to be a big fight. If you've seen the amount, the, the amount of criticism this man's been getting, go all over. It's, it go to his Twitter, go to his social media, everything he's doing. There's cherries everywhere. 
You know, this was a man that was loved last year. You know, when he beat Lucas Martin Matisse, you know, when he beat Zab Judah, when he beat Eric Morales twice, Amir, Amir Khan. You know, he was loved. Whereas in man, it's like, damn, Danny, how could you do this to us? Now, now, I knew Mauricio Herrera was a tough fight. People were saying he was gonna knock Herrera out. I'm like, well, Herrera, despite his fact, despite his loss to Algeria, Herrera beat Ruslan Pavotnikov and got his face beat the shit. You know, go look at the go look at the photos. He's got his he got his face smashed in, and he still ended up winning the fight, whether it's a controversial decision or not. I knew that Danny Garcia was not gonna be able to be able to out um to, to outwork and to knock out Mauricio Herrera. Because you know why? Because I watched boxing. You know, I can I can say I watched 10, about 10 Mauricio Herrera fights. You know, I'm talking about full fights. You know, like in full, I can say I watched and covered every single one of Danny Garcia's last fights over the uh, last four years, close to four years locked, you know, as soon as they went off. So, I know what I'm talking about. Now, when it comes to Lamont Peterson being on the same card, and remember what I said, Al Heyman, they both had the same manager. So when it comes to interview, they said, well, you know, I fight any, I fight anybody. The interviewer asked, fans want you to fight Lamont Peterson. Is Lamont Peterson in the future, you're on the same card, will you fight him and why you're not fighting him? You know, they said, well, I'm down for whatever. You know, both of them are saying similar things. I'm down for whatever, for whatever, you know, yeah, I fight whoever. But they're not saying, yeah, I fight Danny Garcia. I'm trying to get that done right. Boxes don't do that anymore. They don't say, look, I'm trying to fight him in the fall. You know, I'm sick of this shit. He running from me. You don't got times where, you know, like, remember when Ali used to come in the ring? You know, like, if he wanted to fight you, you know, he'd talk to you. He'd just talk mad shit. Like, no, I'm not ducking him. You know, I'm fighting right now. You know, these guys don't do that anymore. We can't expect for them to do that. But once again, please subscribe. This is a fully functioning YouTube channel. I talk about boxing. I talk really fast. Everything is for a purpose. I want to give a shout out to a website I'm now working with. We're Real Combat Media, Jiu Jitsu, Mixed Martial Arts, more importantly, boxing, GTM Sports Banners, you know, who provide the banners for the page and, you know, and to Facebook. You know, because if I didn't have that Facebook page, nobody would know where I was. So a lot of fans are like, yo, where's T Street? They still think I'm on into the arena. You know, people ain't been seeing me do no videos. They think something's wrong. But listen, I'm going ham on videos. I am not taking a day off. And I want you to keep up. Because see, at this point in time, I'm at the bottom. You know, and I love it because, because now I get to really see what I'm made of. You know? So, you know, I got to work myself way back. You know, I love it. It's a challenge. But I want to say... T Street Controversy, subscribe. T Street Controversy Live. I was going to say that.